You know the drill. Make a slip knot. Now crochet 10 chains. Yarn over, count three chains, and on the fourth chain backward, insert your hook and make a double crochet. So you have two double crochets now. Chain two, yarn over into the same hole, make another double crochet, and into the same hole, another double crochet. Yarn over, skip two chains, and on the third chain, make a double crochet. Into the same chain, make another double crochet. Chain two, and make two double crochets in the same chain. Yarn over, skip two chains and into the next, make two double crochet, chain two, and into the same chain, make two double crochets. Now your first row should look just like this. So you have Two double crochet, two chains, two double crochet, skip two chains, two double crochet, two chains, two double crochet, skip two chains, two double crochet, two chains, two double crochet. On the next row, you chain one, turn your work, insert your hook into the next stitch, make a slip stitch. And into the chain two space, make another slip stitch. Just like that. Now make three chains. These three chains stand as your first double crochet. Make another double crochet into that space. So you have two double crochets now. Chain two into the same hole. Make two double crochets again. Remember, you can pause the video and go back if you miss any step. Next, yarn over, skip those two there, into the next chain space, make two double crochet, two chains, two double crochet. Repeat the same thing, yarn over into the next Space, two double crochet, two chains, two double crochets. Now our row two is set. Your work should look just like this. For the third row, repeat the same process, chain one, Turn your work into the next stitch, not that first one, the next one. Make a slip stitch. Repeat the same thing for the chain two space. Now make three chains, yarn over into the same space, another double crochet to make two double crochets, two chains and two double crochets in that same space. Yarn over and into the next space. Two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. It's easy. You just go ahead and flow with the pattern. Repeat the same thing for the last chain space. Two double crochets, two chains, two double crochet. So you repeat the same pattern for every row till you 
get to the 32nd row now you can either choose to do 32 rows or you can take your tape your measuring tape and measure 50 centimeter or you can just simply take the uh, measuring tape around your neck to measure how long or how short you want it to be but for 32 rows 32 rows is 50 centimeter all right so i'll see you at the end of 32. Now we have 32 rows. Look at it looking all nice and neat. Remember to pause your video and go back if you miss anything. For the next step, you chain one, yarn over, into the next stitch, make a slip stitch, into the chain space, slip stitch, three chains, into that same space, a double crochet to make two double crochets, now chain two and two double crochets again in that same space now watch closely yarn over into the middle space one double crochet chain three one double crochet in the same space now notice the difference yarn over into the last space Two double crochet, two chains, two double crochet. Chain one, turn your work. Into the next stitch, a slip stitch, into the chain space, a slip stitch. Make three chains, one double crochet, two chains, two double crochet in the same space. Watch closely. Now yarn over into that hole. Make seven double crochet. There you have seven double crochets. Yarn over into the last two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. Chain one, turn your work, repeat the same thing, slip stitch, slip stitch, three chains, one double crochet two chains, two double crochets. Now chain three, yarn over and into the first stitch there, make one double crochet, chain one, into the next stitch, one double crochet, chain one into the next stitch one double crochet chain one into the next stitch one double crochet chain one till the end of the seven double crochets and the seventh double crochet now our work is expanding. Yarn over, make three chains, and into the last chain space, two double crochets, two chains, two double crochet. Now it's expanding to look like a pineapple. So the two ends, should look, it's still the same pattern, the same process, two double crochet, two chains, two double crochet on both sides. Only the middle has all the difference. Chain one, yarn over, slip stitch, 
slip stitch, three chains, one double crochet, two chains, two double crochets. Chain three, watch closely. Skip that first chain, the first stitch, and the very first one right there, and in the middle, make a double crochet. So skip chain one, skip that stitch right there, and in the middle, that's the very, that your, your one chain, make one double crochet. One chain, yarn over, skip that, in the middle, one double crochet. One chain, skip that. In the middle right there, one double crochet. Repeat till the end. Three chains, and on the last space, two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. It should look just like this. Now you notice at this point, it's increasing, and in this very last one, it's decreased. Slip stitch, slip stitch, three chains, one double crochet, two chains, two double crochets. Chain three, Skip the two, skip the one, and in the middle, make a single crochet. Chain three, skip that stitch, and in the middle, chain, that middle chain one space, make a single crochet. Three chains, Keep the double crochet stitch and in the chain one space, one single crochet. You're beginning to have a curve. Repeat till the end of the double crochet chain. Three chains, skip the double crochet and in the chain one space, one single crochet so your curve should look just like this now chain three and repeat the same at the end two double crochets two chains two double crochets Chain one, turn your work again. Repeat the usual, two double crochets, two chains, double crochets. Chain three. And in that chain three space, Insert your hook in the middle chain, right there. You have to be careful now. Find a way to insert your hook in the middle chain and make a single crochet. Chain three. Insert your hook 
in the middle of the chain three space, make a single crochet. Repeat the same thing, chain three, skip the single crochet in the middle, make a single crochet. It might be a little difficult, just find a way to insert your hook and you'll do just fine. Now we are at the end of that row. Make three chains and repeat two double crochet, two chains, two double crochet in the last in the last chain space. Now we are having a decrease. If you notice, our pineapple is beginning to form like a curve. And now we are having more like a decrease. Let's move on. Chain one, slip stitch, slip stitch, two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. Remember, it depends on how big you want your pineapple to be. You can start with as much as 10 double crochets but I started with seven chains seven double crochets because I don't want it to be too large because it's for the neck now skip the single crochet repeat the same thing into the middle of the chain three space make a single crochet three chains in the middle another single crochet three chains and in the middle another single crochet Then you chain three, and then the last space, two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. There we go. We are almost there. Now you keep going. It should be easy by now. You know what to do. And if you don't, just keep watching. The pattern is quite easy. Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. Now we are at the very top of our pineapple. That's the very last hole right there. So once again, you repeat the same thing. Slip stitch, slip stitch, two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. Now chain three, into the chain three space, a single crochet, that's our last single crochet now. Chain three, and then your two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. Wow, we made it. Okay, now to round up, um, to close the pineapple now, chain one, watch closely. Make a slip stitch, slip stitch, three chains, one double crochet, chain two, into the same chain space, two double crochets. There's nothing in the middle, 
So just yarn over straight into the last chain space, two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. Woohoo! I'm excited! We made it! Okay, here you go. Now some people prefer to leave it this way, while some others like to add a little pointy tip at the end. Whatever it is you want to choose, it's up to you. But I'm going to show you how to add the last pointy part. So chain one, yarn over, slip stitch, slip stitch, watch closely. Now chain three. One, two, three. Now into the chain space there, make a slip stitch to join. To make the pointy tip, now chain one, turn your work into that space, make a slip stitch, three double crochets, into that space, one double crochet to make two double crochets, chain two and two double crochet. Yes! Our first pineapple is ready. Chain one and cut off your yarn. Our first pineapple is ready. You can tighten your work and sew in the ends to secure it. Now it should look just like this. It's so cute, I know, right? So what you're gonna do now is repeat the same thing at the other end of our 32 rows. So remember how we started? Two chain, two double crochet, sorry. So, um, we have two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets, one double crochet, three chains, one double crochet, two chains, two double crochet, two chains, two double crochet, two double crochet till the end. Now I've done both pineapples. You attach your button right here so you can attach it, you can join to the other when you wear. And then at the back of the button, at the back where you have the button, you can sew in your flower. Now the tutorial for the flower is on my channel. You can scroll down and watch it because you need it for to make this rose petal. Tutorial for this rose petal is on my channel. Yep. Now our pineapple color is set. Looking all nice and ready to be worn. The button is there so you can use it to close up when you wear the collar. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos. I hope you enjoyed it. Please drop a thumbs up for me before you log out. Thanks for watching. Bye.